Halloween about a month away. Time to get into that spooky mood. And we're going to talk about Halloween movies. Joining us today, we have dubbed her here in the newsroom as the queen of Halloween in Crydersville. But really, she's one of our multimedia journalists, Stacey Cook, who you've probably seen out and about in town. And you love Halloween. I mean, Halloween is your holiday. It is most definitely my holiday. I mean, I do everything from decorating it up to hosting events in Crydersville for the kids. But Halloween, for some reason, has always been my holiday. It's a fun one. And it can be the gamut, right? From fun kid stuff to the spooky adult kind of stuff. And so when we're talking about movies, you love to dial around and find whatever kind of Halloween movie you can find. Right. I am not a new age kid that goes and streams anything. I don't know how to make that work. <laughs> I'm the one that goes home and turns on the TV Guide channel. And just last night, even after you asked me to do this, I went home and one of my favorites, Halloween Town, was on. So I flipped over that and got giddy because it is so cute from Disney. And it gives you such great ideas of Halloween costumes and decorations that you can do. And the first time I saw it, I remember running um, and talking to my mom about, you got to see this movie. It's so cute. It's got skeletons and goblins and ghosts and stuff. But then it all depends on the mood that you're in. I mean, when you asked what's your top three Halloween movies, I was like, I don't know, because it all depends on your mood, on what you want to watch. Right. Well, that is, I think, a classic fun kids one. But I mean, it, it runs the game. And like you said, the mood, because sometimes it's just the classics that you want to see. Right. The classics that have Bella Lugosi and, um, and I totally forgot his name, the one that plays the mummy, Boris Karloff. Karlo off. Those are classics that you can watch. The Dracula was just on the other night. Got to watch a little bit of that. I saw Frankenstein the other week that was on. But they're coming in. But one when I was a kid that was a classic from that era was the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And to this day, I, I can't stand swimming in water. You can't see where you're going or what's underneath the water because of that creature. So the classics are great. But just to watch from there to where they've come today oh with gosh. their special effects. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, you, sometimes you do watch Dracula and stuff and you're like, gosh, that's so cheesy because of the special effects you see now. But I feel, and I think you're this way, sometimes it's too much, these slasher movies and stuff like that. I like the stuff that kind of creeps on you and, and spooks you and scares you at first, you know? You gotta have some suspense in there. Like Alfred Hitchcock movies are great too oh, yeah. around this time of year. But some of the others that, are com that come in, um, Sometimes the Saw movies may be too graphic for people, but other genre they like with that. Mm -hmm. um, Haunting in Connecticut was one that I liked that was uh, probably in the last 10 or 15 years about a family that moves because the son has a rare type of cancer and they end up renting this big, beautiful house really cheap and they wonder why where it used to be a funeral home and the mortician used to do experiments on the people that oh. came in, the dead that came in. So you go through that whole gamut, because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Great movie to watch, uh, Haunting in Connecticut. And the outcome at the end is really interesting that you come to find. But and other classics. more adult-like, I assume? That would be more adult-like, okay. because there are some creepy things in there right, and going yeah. bad. But kids' ones, I just found um, a year or so ago on Netflix. So I did get a little <laughs> into Netflix there. But it was The Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting. And it was really cute because it was a girl that did want to babysit on trick-or-treat and Halloween night, but she had to. And then the little boy gets kidnapped by monsters. And she doesn't realize there's a society of babysitters that come and help these kids that have these nightmares to protect them. Uh -huh. And it's just really fun. And it goes around the whole realm. And it's a nice family movie that you can watch with that. Uh -huh. And I guess that's the only thing. I mean, fun family movies. And then sometimes there's just adult ones that, you know, hey, adults, you got to have fun and... and get scared while you're sitting there, right? Right. And the other thing that I figured out over the years is that if there is a movie that, you know, I'm kind of going, oh, I don't know, it's kind of creepy and stuff, turn the volume off and just watch it. When you don't hear that music going, da 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 Right, the music warned you. It warns you what's coming up. You can watch that movie and you're not going like this. I mean, one when I was a kid, Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte with Betty Davis. Mm. They were trying to make her feel she was insane, and they had someone come out that didn't have a head or hands. And back then, it was in black and white, and you're seeing just these stubs, and it scared the death out of me. And then now, you know, I'm watching around. I am always a sucker, too, for Texas Chainsaw Massacre remakes. Oh, so I watch those, too. So it all depends. It's a wide just, variety. Just dial around. That's what I, you say. That's what you got to do. Dial around and see what you like to see. All right. Some fun Halloween movies you brought up. Thanks, Stacey, for doing this You're for quite us. welcome. All right. Don't go away. First edition continues in a moment. Our family invites your family to join us at the Shannon Theater in Bluffton, Ohio, your best value in family entertainment. Family owned and operated since 1976, evening tickets are only $4.